All right, in this video, we are going to set up our database for uh, for the gaming place. It's going to hold uh, four different tables. We're going to have products, categories, orders, and users. All right, so I already created a database called Gaming Place. So I'm going to click on that. All right, so let's first create products. And this is going to have... Uh, six fields okay so we want the product ID which is going to be an integer we'll say 11 um, and then we want to set it to auto increment and primary key next we'll have the category ID which is going to be the foreign key for the categories table next we'll have the product title and that's going to be a varkar and we'll give it 255 next is the description I'm gonna set that to the text field alright next will be image which will hold, hold an image path and image name which will be varchar and we'll say 100 and then finally the price which is gonna be a decimal decimal and for length we want to show two uh, decimal points, so we're going to say 10, comma 2. All right, so that should be good for products. Let's click on Save. Valid length. Oh. Oh, this should be blank. This should be 100. Okay, next will be Categories. And let me see, Categories is going to have just two columns okay so it's gonna have an ID and a name ID we'll say 11 and this is gonna be auto increment primary key then name is gonna be Varkar and we'll say a hundred okay so next we'll have orders and orders is going to hold um, the products that were purchased. Okay, um, so this is going to have. Let me see. This is going to have actually eleven fields. Okay, of course we're going to have an ID for a primary key. And next we'll have the actual product ID. Next, we'll have the user ID that made the purchase and a transaction ID, which in this case would be a PayPal transaction. That's going to be Varkar. And let me, we'll do, we'll just do 255. Next is the quantity, integers good, um, price. Price will be decimal, and we want to put in here 10 to. After price is going to be the location info, so address, address two, city, state, and zip code. Okay, change these types to Varkar. Okay, and address, let me just put 255. City can be 100. Uh, state, 100. Zip code, um, 30. All right, so that's good. Save. One more table to create, and that is the users table, which will have seven fields. Okay, so we want an ID, primary key, auto increment. Uh, next will be first name, last name, email, username, 
password and join date. Okay, fire card for most of these. Join date can be a timestamp. And I'm going to set the default to current timestamp. And then for these, let's just do 100. All right. So there's our database. Now you want to make sure that you have the correct credentials inside of your config folder. Okay, so inside the application folder and then the config folder and then database, you want to make sure that you have your username, your password, and your database name. Okay, so you, you need to make sure that those match your database in order for it to work with it. Now what I want to do uh, before we start programming is I want to insert some sample data into our database uh, for when we want to actually display it in our application. So first thing, I'm going to add some categories. Okay, so if we click on categories and then go to insert, uh, I'm going to add five more rows. Okay, so for categories, basically they're going to be the different consoles available. So um, Xbox One games, okay, uh, PS4 games, Nintendo Wii U games. Actually, we'll just keep just do Nintendo Wii games. Okay, next is Xbox 360, then PS3, and that that's good. All right, so you want to make sure this ignore is unchecked as well and then click on go so now we have some categories now let's add some products uh, actually you know what let's add a user first um, we want to go to insert and create a user username I'm just gonna say Brad and of course, ultimately, we're not going to store plain text passwords. They're going to be encrypted, uh, but this is just just to use now. Okay, so there's one user. Now we want to add a product. Uh, insert. We'll add a few. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just copy and paste some uh, product, some products. So Destiny, which is. I believe it's an Xbox One game. Um, so Xbox One was category one. So we'll put a one there. Um, image, let's see. Image is going to be game one dot JPEG. And then price will be 59.99. Okay, next one is also an Xbox One game so it's gonna have the category ID 1 and let me just paste this in Call of Duty Ghosts obviously this information doesn't really need to be accurate it's just for example and what I did was just googled some games and copied the description so this will be game 2.jpg and then the price is also $59.99. Uh, let's add those. And I actually want to add a couple more. Okay, next is Watch Dogs, and that's going to be uh, PS3, I believe. Which, which is what? Category 5. Description. Game three. P 
price is going to be $49.99. Okay, next is Sniper Elite. That's category one. Paste in a dis whoop. description. Game 4. Dot JPEG and then price for this $49.99. Alright, so we'll paste, we'll add those. Okay, so now we have a few products. Um, I'm actually going to add two more just to make it look like our HTML template. Okay, Batman, and this is going to be um, PS4, so that's category two. Description, image will be game 5jpeg price $59.99, and then one more, which will be Shadow of Mador. This will also be a, a Category 2 game, PS4. Price, say $49.99. All right, so there's our six products. Um, I'm not going to add anything to the orders table. All right, that'll be handled later on. So now that we have a database ready, we can start to uh, program our application.